uh, what did you get from your dad specifically? Mm. Because growing up with my dad, he's I know, I'm first generation. Oh wow! So growing up, it was such a pressure to do good, to be do something big in this world and stuff like that, right? And it still is. Right. Um, but growing up, seeing my dad every single day, you know, he's a professional bass player. Oh, I wow. see him every single day just practicing, 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 and never took a day off. I think maybe twice in five years he took a day off. That's excellent. And um, so I get my work ethic from him. Would you say that's the same uh, for you with your dad? Do we have the same father? I think so, maybe. <laughs> and my dad wasn't in the military either, right. but he like treated us and like worked like he was in the military. Maybe they were separated in, uh, tr- twins at birth, yeah, I don't know. I, I assume so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the same thing. My father, he was very, I hate, gosh, some moments I hated the way my father was so hard on me mm-hmm. and pushed me so hard to you know do well in school, do well in martial arts. Yeah. His famous expression, to compete is to win. You know, if I'm going to compete in something, whether it be a science fair or a geography bee or a martial arts tournament, he wanted me to win. And right. I could see the disappointment in my eyes. And I was like, God, it's hard. Mm-hmm. But now as an adult, I really, really appreciate that he was hard on me because I see a lot of people um, my age. I don't You look younger than me. How old are you? I'm 32. 32. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm about five years older than he is. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> young looking man. But, um. Yeah, I mean, just absolutely, I I have a good work ethic, and because yeah. of that, I see a lot of my friends, you know, kind of living the same life they did 20 years ago. Mm-hmm. I always want to continue to improve, the, very much how your, your father was. Mm-hmm. The Japanese philosophy is, no matter what you do, whether you're a maintenance guy, whether you cut grass for a living, or you paint houses, if you are the best at what you do, and you strive to do that in life, you will be successful. Yeah. So and that's and that's what I try to do every day. It's Agreed. a little harder. It's a little hard in some days, but yeah, you know. oh, of course it's hard <laughs> some days. I mean, for me, it's like I feel like I would have had that entrepreneur hunger to work every day without taking a day off and not complaining and all this stuff, you know, that comes with it. Um, but but my parents wanted me to do the traditional route, so I was kind of forced into this traditional box where I wanted to like to get out and just be creative and be my own person but I wasn't able to and I felt like I wasn't allowed to right so now that I'm older and I'm starting now finally trying to finding myself um now I'm taking my own route and thinking man I wish I could have uh done this years ago but you know everything happens for a reason that's right I was actually going to say then you should thank your father for putting you in that box yeah. for wanting you to do something hard because that also made you want to take your own route. You mm-hmm. might not have been here today if he was light with you. Yeah. You know, so that's uh, definitely true. Absolutely. So I kind I, of forged your path for you. Yeah. So yeah. Cool. And I told him that I was like, man, thank you for everything you've done. Like even the hard times and cause me and my dad never got along. Right. Ever. <laughs> I mean, it was bad, but, um, I thanked him cause it made me who I am. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,